It is nearly summer time. Maybe you could even call it already summer. As you all know, I live in Tasmania. Australia is entering summer time because we are in the southern hemisphere, and at this time of the year, while all of you Americans and Europeans are enjoying your winter break and you're going into a white winter. We are actually going into summer right now, and it's freaking hot. You know, I'd rather freeze to death than to be burnt up by the sun. Because in winter, if you want to get warmer, just get off your ass and move around, man. But in summer, you can only take off so many layers until you are butt naked. And it is not socially acceptable nowadays to be naked. By the way, this is the nude beach. I could go completely nude on this beach, and there will be no one around. In fact, I would welcome people to go naked on this beach with me. Anyways, summertime is coming, and you know what that means. When the weather gets hotter, people get lighter. Your hair gets lighter. Bailey's hair starts to shed, and that's why we had to put her outside the house. She's not allowed to be in the house anymore. Yeah, she sheds way too much, and she's not allowed to be in my car either. Yeah, summertime is here, guys. And you know what else happens in summer? As the weather gets hotter, people get friskier. So more alcohol, more partying. More drugs, <laughs> less clothing. Well, I'm just being stereotypical, anyways. That's the sort of summer here in Australia. Less clothing, more shirtless selfies. Yeah, just showing off the body that God has given us. Because we should, we should honor our bodies. This is a gift from God. And you should honor your body, treat it well, but don't abuse it. You know. Why am I talking about summer? As a kid, I was really insecure with my body. I was a little bit on the tubby side. I had a little bit of flabby、um, belly. My nickname when I was a little back home in Vietnam was fatty. I was a fat kid. <laughs> Because I drank a lot of milk.、Um, there was even an inside joke in my family. We went to an art exhibition once, and there was this artist. I could not remember his name, but he drew a picture of a guy holding milk bottles, empty milk bottles, and the title of the artwork was "Milk Debt." Milk Debt. <laughs> Someone's owing you milk, and that's my nickname, Milk Debt. Someone owe me milk. Anyways, yeah, I was really insecure as a kid. I remember in PE classes,、um, back then we had cricket and swimming in summer, and I would dread every time that we had swimming classes, because while all the boys would take off their clothes and. Have abs and you know like there were we weren't really jacked. There was not really anyone who was jacked in our year group, but everybody sort of were on the normal weight range. Meanwhile, I was a little bit on the tubby side, and I was I was dreading going to PE class every time that we have swimming, and I would make up excuses not to get in the pool, not to be in the water. Um, I would fake having injuries and having cuts on my bodies, and and I I did have cuts on my body as well as a teenager, but that that's another、um, story. But yeah, I would make up excuses not to get in water because I wouldn't I don't want to take off my shirt. I don't want my shirt to cling onto my body when it's wet. And also looking around me, I feel really insecure. Looking at the girls as well, like I. Yeah, you know, you know, you already know what happened when you were a teenager with raging hormones and stuff like that. 
And you look around you, everybody is enjoying their time. Meanwhile, I sat in the shade because I was fat. <laughs> and now it's summertime again. And as you all know from following my videos and following what I'm doing here on YouTube, I have a goal. And my goal is to get as strong as possible, to get as voluptuous, bulbous, rotund, odematous, swollen, tumorous, <laughs> succulent, juicy, <laughs> Yeah, my goal is hard to understand. My goal is to get as strong as possible. And so, this summer, I want to be looking exactly aesthetic. I won't have abs this year going to the beach. And I, frankly, I don't care. I'm past the point of caring. I'm no longer insecure about my body because I know it's possible for me to get in shape. I know because I've done it before. So... I'm not feeling hopeless like when I was a teenager. Um, I thought to myself, I'll never have abs. I'll never be aesthetic. I'll look ugly and yeah, I'll never fit in. But I know it's possible because it has been done before. So now I don't care if I get a little bit fat um, because I know it's for a good cause. And yeah, I'm not going to shy away from going to the beach and being shirtless. I'm going to be fat as fuck, but sorry for swearing. I'm going to be very tubby, swollen, voluptuous, <laughs> bulbous. But yeah, it's for a good cause. And I don't care anymore. Frankly, I simply do not care anymore. Um, I'm just going to do my thing. And yeah, <laughs> I don't care, man. Anyways, hope you guys are doing well. Stay strong. God bless. I love you all. And yeah, have faith in God and the plan that God has for you. Even if it means you get a little bit chubby. If God is real, why am I fat? <laughs>